Every time I've picked up my phone over the past three or four months, everything I've seen about the housing market is that we're in a housing recession, that we're in a market crash, that prices are going down. But why aren't we seeing prices go down in Maryland if that's the case? My name is Eddie Brady with Showcase Real Estate here in Maryland, and today I'm gonna give you a really quick overview of what's going on in the Maryland real estate market and why we're staying strong here regardless of what you hear on the news. And we're gonna go over some really simple Redfin data and market data just to show you what that big picture is of what's happening, and let's just jump right into it. This is Redfin's market data center, and it's showing that in the beginning of this year, the first week of January, we were actually trending about 1% below 2022 prices. But ever since then, ever since the second week in January, we've been trending above 2022 pricing. And right now, at the end of March into early April, we're about even with 2022 pricing. So the prices are not dropping, not following what the news is saying. And here's why I think this trend is going to continue. This is Redfin's new listing data for the same period of time. And what it's showing is that throughout this entire year of 2023, we've had at least 20 20 percent less new listings than 2022 and even less than 2021. So it's pretty incredible. And this is simple supply and demand economics. We have less supply going on the market in the same, if not more demand, even with the higher rates of this year. So that means prices are going to stay elevated and even increase more than they did in 2022. And you may have noticed on the screen that these charts are for the Washington DC metro area. And the reason I selected this is because it also includes the biggest markets in Maryland as part of the Washington DC metro area. And the rest of Maryland is trending in line with this data I'm showing you. So this is the best available data that we can show for the entire state. But I wanna show you one more thing that's gonna be a refreshing perspective, a very refreshing outlook on home values. And it's gonna make you feel much better about buying a home in Maryland right now. This chart is showing you the new construction and existing home values over the past decade. And if you're looking at the chart and the trend, the trend looks very positive over the past decade. And what I want to point out about this chart, there's a lot of these ups and downs, right? But the news only reports on the downs. So every time we reach a peak in pricing, they're going to report on the news from that point to the next lowest point. They don't report news on the steady increase in values over the past decade. Now, when I look at this chart, I feel much better about buying a home in Maryland. I feel much better about the investment of a home in Maryland that over the long term, prices are going to continue to rise because this is a highly desirable area and there's low inventory. Even in other markets, there's low inventory in Maryland because there's so many buyers out there looking to move here. So I feel great about this chart. You should too. This is the type of data that you should be looking at if you're going to move to a state and stay long term. And I've said this in previous videos and I'll say it again. Buying real estate is not like day trading stocks. You should not be buying a home hoping in one to two years or even three years to make a killing on your equity in the home. That's not how the real estate market works unless you're an experienced flipper. How the real estate market works is that it's better to have time in the market than to time the market. So all of your planning for buying and selling a home in Maryland or anywhere across the country should be focused on the long term. Unless you're an experienced flipper, that's a totally different story. But in this case, pay attention to these charts, the long term data. We're looking at a decade of data here that you can go off of. And if you do that and you plan on being your, in your home for at least five or more years, you're going to be in great shape. So again, this is just a quick video on why the prices are not going down in Maryland and why I I don't foresee them going down in the near future. So I hope this video was helpful. If you are thinking of moving to Maryland, anywhere in the state, please reach out to me. My information is listed below. I would be happy to help you. You can also reach out to me on my Instagram at, at Eddie Brady Real Estate, and I'd be happy to help you there as well. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about living in Maryland.